So here's what I've been thinking about. My roommate and I just got this book in the mail last week. Um, it's Allegiant by Veronica Roth, and it's the third in her Divergent trilogy. I wasn't there when the first book came out. I mean, I was there, but like I didn't read it the day that it came out. I wasn't like waiting for her Veronica Roth's book. I read the first one, thought it was good, didn't read the second one. I, then I came to school this year, and Kayla had the first two books of the series, the only two that were out at the time, sitting on her shelf, and I was like, oh, I really wanted to read the second one. So I tore through the first book and the second book, and I was like, these are so good. So then I was waiting expectantly for Allegiant. And Kayla had Amazon Prime for like a month, and so then she ordered it on pre-order because it was cheaper, and we waited expectantly for it to come in the mail. While we were waiting for Allegiant to come in the mail, I started thinking about all of the exciting nerd things that are happening right now. Allegiant just came out in the mail, the Doctor Who 50th anniversary is coming, Sherlock Season 3 comes out soon, Catching Fire comes out in theaters at the end of this next month. Um, they're making a Fault in Our Stars movie, they're making a Divergent movie, um, they just made The City of Bones. Film. I just noticed a lot of those things popping up, especially when it comes to young adult novels, and it got me thinking. Does it really make you a bigger fan if you started watching something the day that it came out, or if you read the book as soon as it was released? Yeah, I was really excited for Allegiant to come out, and I tore through the book in a day and a half once it got here, but does that really make me a bigger fan? Or mean that I love the book that much more than the person who's gonna read it in six months who'd never heard of it before? Why is it that sometimes as, well, nerds, we value those who started something from the beginning more than those who come into it later. Sometimes I think maybe it should be the other way around. Those of us who've come into something later get to see all the things that people before us have created, all the opinions that they have, all the theories they have about things, all the emotion and the art and the creativity that they've put into something. We get to experience all of that. Now there are certain exceptions to this rule, like I'll always sort of feel like it's better to have experienced Lizzie Bennet Diaries as it occurred rather than coming into the show now that it's over, but that doesn't mean that somebody loves it less. I even get to sit down and talk with a friend about Doctor Who for a project that she was doing, and one of the questions she had for the interview was, how long have you been watching Doctor Who? The five of us in that room had only been watching Doctor Who for, I think the girl who had been watching it longest had been watching it since 2008. And if you think about the whole span of Doctor Who, the almost 50 years that it's been on, that's not very much time at all but the show still meant a lot to us. And I came away from that wondering, why would we be considered fans of the show less simply because I've only been watching it for less than a year? It's just something that makes me think. This is a little bit of a ramble, but it's been something I've been thinking about a lot. How do you feel about bandwagon nerds or bandwagon fans, however you want to describe it? For those of you who are part of the nerd community, is this something that bothers you? So I guess my point is, I don't really have a point. I'm just curious what you guys think. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Bye guys. Nope. Man, words are hard. What is my point? I've been talking for a long time. I don't know what my point is. Ah! So while we were waiting in the... While we were...